Ducky Andy Lippy here back with another stream up video and I'm super excited to showcase this one. Silver has been putting some absolute grafting getting it right. This is the prediction extension for the orange board as you can see i've just pressed one single button and it's created a on-screen prediction um it, it fires all the prediction data across the twitch it basically just makes the prediction system so much more interactive and it there's so many features in this let's just get into it i'm going to show you how to get it all installed get it up and running i'm going to be doing a couple of videos on this and i will even be sharing this at some point so make sure you are subscribed if you want this exact one uh, that i've created just here with a countdown time and everything like that it tracks how many people have voted how many channel points are in there all that jazz so let's just get on with it there's a load to go through all right put your rug in the stone let's go the answer is no by the way the answer is no Right, so we are going to have to get this extension downloaded. So I'm going to show you the website where to get it from. It is just the stream up website. If you guys haven't seen this before, there's so much useful information on here and loads of things that will help you improve your stream and everything like that. So it's not released yet, so you won't be able to see it here, but we can just jump up to projects and it should be one of the, the latest. It'll be under tools and you'll be able to pick it up just there. It'll take you to the coffee, um, the, the coffee page where you can uh, basically pay whatever you want for it. Zero. If you want it for free or you can just name your price completely up to you to help support us at stream up and silver mainly it's 90 percent because he deserves it he's done an insane job so get that all downloaded uh it will basically just pop up in a little uh, lve file there, there might be a zip file you'll just unzip that zip file um and just you'll have the lve ready to go so i like to copy that into the uh, leoran board folder so mine is in Leoran board and then Leoran board receiver PC and then EXT. I like to put all my extensions just in there just because I've got them all in one place then if I ever need to reinstall them or anything like that, it is just easy to do so. So that's the first step all done. There will be documentation as well that Silver's put together. This is a, a GitHub page of look at all this. He's put in a ton of work into this, guys. And th this, I pretty much believe this is the, the first time I've ever seen anything like this on Twitch. Uh, I think StreamUp are the first ones to, to create something um, to do with the, the Channel Point API. Um, uh, well, the prediction, sorry. So, uh, yeah, please show the love to, to Silver for, for creating this. Drop him a follow, all that jazz. So, all the information is just on this page, but I'm going to take you through the basics on how to get it all installed. Uh, just a, a quick browse at the features. We get to create a prediction, lock prediction, cancel it, pick a win inside, all that jazz. So, it's super easy to use. So, hopefully, you'll get using predictions. So, take a feel, feel free to take a look at um, just, yeah, at this, but let's get it installed anyway. So I'm going to open up OBS and I'm going to open up the Orin board. My Leoran board's blank. It doesn't matter if yours is blank or not. Don't, don't worry about that. It's just the way that I have mine set up for my videos. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. So the first thing that we need to do is even though you've got your um, Twitch already linked, we need to add some certain scopes to it so it will actually be able to read and send the information for the channel point predictions. When you press link your Twitch in the Orin board, you, you get this big URL at the top and you see all these Twitch authorization scopes and normally you just tick them all and, and Bob's your uncle, it's all done. But because uh, the, the API is so new, Leoran's not added this in just yet. So uh, if you're watching this video and you already have the checkboxes that you can press, then you can disregard this section uh, and then just skip on. So uh, we need to put this in manually. So the way that we do that is we're going to press copy URL and then go to Google Chrome or whatever web, um, web browser you're using and just paste it into the top just here. Don't press enter. Don't do anything like that because we need to add some information to the end of it. I've put it on a handy little notepad just here. So we need to add plus channel manage predictions plus channel read prediction. So it's going to be able to pull that information. I'll leave that um, that text in the uh, in the bottom of the uh, description as well. So it's a very long URL. So I'm going to press end, go to the end, and I'm just going to paste that in there. So we've got um, the plus channel manage predictions and the uh, channel read prediction there. And then just hit enter. It will load up the um, the web page. It might ask you to authorize it. It might not come up straight into a uh, 
a kind of page like this it might come up with twitch asking for authorization just say yes uh, and that will link the account and you will then get forwarded to this page that says you're all good go back to leoran board so we can close that down jump to leoran board and you'll see the token was successfully now ready to install the actual extension so I'm going to do that by going to install extension in Leoran board. Press OK. And we're going to search for that extension file. So we put it in Leoran board, Leoran board receiver, EXT, and it's just this one here. Select like the transmitter. So mine is TSL underscore transmitter. It will just be in the, the Leoran board folder at the top. Uh, I'm actually going to install it to a different Leoran board. My uh, computer is very complicated, all right? <laughs> I'm just going to press yes here. Um, I already had it installed, so it's asking me to reinstall it. Yep, that's cool me. And it'll create a deck just here. Stream up predictions. It'll also restart your TSL um, transmitter and everything like that. So you will have to reconnect it back up to Twitch. Like so. And if you look in your transmitter, I've got mine in OBS by using the, the docs and then the custom browser docs. That's how I've got this on here. Because you can put whatever you want in there. Uh, so I can actually have it inside of, Leo, uh, inside of OBS. What I need to do is tick this little box. It should be like the top one. It'll say stream up Twitch predictions. We tick that and we'll be able to get the drop down just here. And all the info is here on everything that it can. Uh, this is where the fun begins, really. Um, if I press get refresh award code um, and that will get all the info for, for the channel ID, the award token, everything like that. Uh, so it can connect to Twitch. We can type in a prediction title here. So I'll do this is a test. Uh, this is all in the transmitter. Uh, the answer is it works. Uh, the answer two is it does work. <laughs> right, so we can do a prediction timer as well. Um, I think it's up to 1,800. Uh, seconds so i can press start new prediction just like so and as you can see twitch chat prediction started what is this prediction we'll click on it this is a test it works it doesn't work it definitely works <laughs> uh, we get all the information inside the transmitter as well which is so 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 useful we can see the prediction id if we need to we, we've got the prediction title the the status of it whether or not it's running or not we've got the blue id so the blue answer which was it works you can see there total um channel points total users where we've got the same for the pink and also the total channel points in uh, in total the total channel points in total the total user predictions as well just there we can then if we want to select who the winner is by selecting blue or select pink we can cancel it or lock it if i lock it you'll see there's eight seconds left press lock it closes it so nobody else can get in and then we can choose a winner whenever we like so i can do select blue for instance and it'll say blue is the winner so we're controlling the the twitch um prediction api just via a dock inside of obs which is so useful and this means moderators can do it as well via chat commands so make sure you're subscribed for that because i'm going to talk over that in a different video and show you how powerful it can be uh, and like i say that's exactly how to do it on there and let's take a little look at what's going on on the actual leoran board deck so we'll open up stream up predictions it looks busy Okay, there's a lot of info here. You can press the button down at the bottom to go to the stream up page, read the documentation, and go and see this beautiful sausage. Twitch.tv forward slash silver link. Absolute legend of a guy for creating this. We've got all these buttons. We don't really have to do much with these. These are all the triggers and everything like that that basically make this deck and system work. So just make sure you do not delete this deck. Because this deck is completely required for it to work. Otherwise, it will not. So you'll see we've got some example predictions. One and two just here. So if I right click on one of them and go to edit commands. You can see how this is working. So um, uh, rather than read through all this. Because you can read at any point. So you can see we're changing a variable. The prediction title equals. And then doing a string which is. Does this bring stream up to the next level? Answers yes. Just a, just a short one for you there guys um <coughs> excuse me um first 
um, blue answer of the prediction. So we do prediction answer one equals yes. Prediction answer two equals of course. So that's the blue and the pink answers. We also have the timer, how long we want it to be as well. And then you don't edit anything at the bottom there because that's going to send all that information. So let me show you that how that works in practice. If I just hit done. Uh, and I'm going to close this one down and I'm going to open up the actual Leoran board uh, stream deck here. I'm going to find out which port it's on. Four, four, six, that's fine. You're, you don't have to mess about with anything like that. Six, there we go. We're on deck number one just there. So now when I press the example prediction one that we looked at a minute ago, tap that. And it'll send prediction started because we've just pressed a single button in here. We can see it's changed the, the two answers to yes and of course. Let's have a little look. What was the question? Does this bring stream up to the next level? As you can see just here with a five minute timer. And the answer was yes and of course. What we can do is choose the answer just here if we wanted to. We can lock the prediction. So if you've got, say, it on a Amazon Fire tablet or something like that, you can control all these from there. If, for example, I say of course just here, press that, it'll close it. They, of course, is winner. So we've created a prediction. Rather than going into all that command system and everything like that that's on Twitch, we can just press a symbol button on the Orenbo deck and it creates it at any point that we want. So that one's finished. We can press it again and it'll restart it. Super easy as that. Press, of course, done. And now we pretty much go. I mean, that they're, they're pretty much the... the the basics of how this work i mean there is one more thing that you can do you can easily create your own extra buttons uh, as these example predictions so if you wanted to just resize this we move this out of the way and we could just copy one of these buttons we could paste it over here and we can start creating another prediction just here so if we want to do a prediction title i would just put this in. test for now Answer one, we'll put um, is, and I'll put for answer two, broke, broken, and we can change the time to say 60 seconds as well. Press done, press done again, and as if by magic, when we press that button, uh, we press example one, there we go, it's created that prediction. How easy was that? And I've got presets. So if you're like a speedrunner or something like that, and you want to put predictions up all the time, like will you reach certain goals at any point, you can have them all preset. It's easy, it's simple as that. Super easy to go. If we have a little look, this is another test. It is, it's broken. That's it. We created a prediction within two seconds. The winner is, it's broken. We can cancel it, we can lock it. You get in the picture. And that's the basics of how this uh, extension works there's so much more that you can do with it so make sure you are subscribed because i'm going to go through um mod commands so if even if your moderators are on mobile they can create predictions rather than doing like preset predictions they can make their own custom ones at any point just using chat command so 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 useful uh, my chat's been loving it it's been so fun to mess about with we can even use all this information to put it on screen so i'm going to show you how to do that in another video as well because there's so many things to go into with this extension because it's so um vast on on what it can do uh, and how you can manipulate the data so make sure you stay tuned for that if you want to support me then consider joining my patreon or even just becoming a channel member um I, I do a lot of research for these videos and stuff like that if you want to support stream up please 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 go and consider uh, just putting in a donation towards the software like I say silver's done an incredible job and if you want to go and support him uh, then make sure you put your your donation in and follow all right i'll leave all these links in the description put rock in the stone and i'll see you in the next one I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.